Hello, I'm Sarah Santosh and welcome to Southall TV News Roundup. In international news, NATO has urged Russia to end airstrikes on Syrian opposition and civilians days after Moscow began raids to support Syria's government. Moscow said that it had been targeting Islamic State and other Islamic positions, but US-led allies and Turkey say government opponents have been targeted. F-16 fighter jets were deployed after a Russian plane entered airspace over Turkey last week. According to Russia, the miscalculation was only for a few seconds and was caused by the weather conditions. 28 members from NATO warned Russia that behaviour like that was extremely dangerous and that Russia should retreat from assisting with the airstrikes. US Secretary of State John Kerry said Turkey would have been within its right to shoot the jets down. In other news, the United States Commander of International Forces in Afghanistan has said that the airstrike on a hospital in the city of Kunduz was a mistake. At least 22 people were killed in the attack as government forces battled to retake the city from the Taliban. General John Campbell has admitted that the US would never have intentionally targeted a medical facility and that the number of soldiers in Afghanistan may need to be increased. Under current plans, the US is to reduce the number of soldiers that are stationed in Afghanistan from 9,800 to 1,000 embassy-based soldiers from the start of 2017. However, because of the current situation in the country and the increase in activity from the Taliban, this figure may need to be reconsidered. Medical charity Médecins Sans Frontières has called for an independent inquiry into the attack in Kunduz. In national news, the UK Prime Minister David Cameron has promised to devote much of his time in office to looking at poverty within the country. This announcement was made at the Conservatives Conference this week. Mr Cameron also wanted to tackle social problems and boost social mobility. Planning reforms to increase home ownership were also announced. The Prime Minister has hinted at the fact that he will be standing down prior to the next election and wanted the past decade to be remembered as when change was implemented, when people no longer felt that the tide was against them. Further pledges included the promise to end discrimination and fight for equality, condemn passive intolerance of female genital mutilation and forced marriages, and a vow to tackle problems caused by extremism and segregation caused by faith schools. In further news, an 18-year-old man has appeared in court charged with the murder of a police officer who died after being struck by a car. PC Dave Phillips died after a pickup vehicle mounted a central reservation in Merseyside. Clayton Williams, the accused, has also been charged with burglary, attempting to wound another police officer and aggravated theft of a vehicle. Mr Williams has been charged as the initial take of the vehicle, while another man, Philip Stewart, has been charged with burglary and aggravated unauthorised taking of a car. The police officer, a father of two, was struck as he attempted to use a stinger device which punches the tyres in a bid to stopping the vehicle. He died shortly after arriving at hospital. In local news, the Ealing Council has announced the launch of the East Acton Champions Fund, which will help people who live and work in Acton to make it a better place. The fund is a small-scale funding scheme that aims to encourage residents and local groups and businesses in East Acton to make a difference within the local area. It promotes and supports the delivery of community-based projects by helping people make the most efficient use of their time and money available to them. A sum of £10,000 has been allocated and the Council will provide between £500 and £2,000 towards the cost of each project. Community groups and organisations can apply for funding with a deadline for applications set at 5pm on Monday the 16th of November 2015. For more information, visit Ealing Council's website on www.ealing.gov.uk.